Hey guys, take a much what the video for you guys in today's video. I'm going to show you how to delete everything on your iPhone that you have, all of your photos, videos, apps, everything will be deleted and then reset back to factory right you originally got it. Now, if you have a newer phone or older phone, we'll show you both of the ways so you can do it on any iPhone that you have. But before you do delete everything, make sure that if you want to keep your data, you do back it up either using your iCloud or iTunes account. So if you don't do that, you will lose all of your data. We'll never be able to get it back because this will delete everything. So how do you go ahead and delete it on the latest iOS version? It's going to be really simple. This is going to be for iOS 13 and above. You simply go into your settings and then you go to a general and then go all the way down here. It says transfer reset iPhone. You click on that. And the reset that you're going to want to do is erase all content and setting, which basically means delete everything on your iPhone. So if you click on that, it's going to prompt you to erase this iPhone. You're going to hit continue and you'll get this pop up. But you also, if you have Apple ID signed in, it's going to ask you to enter your Apple ID password. So you need to enter your Apple ID password in order to remove your Apple account and your information along with this. So to keep that in mind. And then once you're ready, simply hit that erase option and it will start deleting everything on your phone. Now, this is for the latest version of the iOS with iOS 13 or later up to iOS 17 or later. Now, if you have iOS 12 or older, it's going to look slightly different in terms of the setting menu. You can go to your settings. You're going to go to general and then all the way down here where it says reset. You will click on reset and then this one has a menu similarly like this where it says erase all content and setting. You can click on that and same exact thing. All of your media data will be erased once you go through the process click on delete and then it's going to ask you your Apple ID password if you're signed into an Apple ID account and then you will erase and it will begin the deletion process. Now you're going to wait till this deletion completely finishes and goes to your actual screen that you originally used it to set up. Now during this process also make sure your phone has enough charge to complete the process. I recommend at least 50% or more charge. If you don't, it could die in the process and not completely delete everything. So just wait till you get to the screen that originally says the setup screen, which for the newer phone, it's going to say the hello screen or the older phone. It's just going to have that one that will show you here after this completes. Now, do keep in mind when you do delete everything, it deletes all the apps you have downloaded and all of your photos, videos and everything like that. But once you set it up again, it will still keep the default apps that originally come with any iPhone, but that will not have your data. So this one just completed. It shows us the hello screen just like that. And if you slide up, it's going to say set it up. That means we successfully deleted everything on this iPhone. Now, similarly, on an older iPhone, you'll see here it's going to go do this. And as you can see here within this minute, it takes about a few minutes to complete this process. Now, if you have a lot more data, it might take you a little bit longer, but make sure you see this through to the end. That way it is successful. So we're waiting to have this one finished. So we'll show you how that looks as well. But again, once you go through this process, your phone is basically wiped out and you can trade it in, sell it, give it away, whatever the case is. And all of your personal data will be completely removed and you can be safe from anyone having access to your data that was on the phone. So this is the complete factory reset or deleting everything off your iPhone. So here we're going to wait. It looks like it's almost there here. And then also, if you don't have access to the actual phone menu like we did, the another way to erase or delete everything on your iPhone is using your iTunes application, which is an application provided from Apple, or the Finder app on a newer MacBook, which is another process, which I'll leave a link for that video as well on how to erase or delete everything off iPhone using your computer or basically your MacBook with the iTunes or the Finder app. So you can also follow that as another method. But this method was just for anyone who has access to the phone, which for the most case, you should have access to your phone, unlike, unless you forgot the passcode and can't get into your phone. So here we're seeing this through so it can delete everything.
as you can see this is in real time just to show how long it does take on the older phone as you can see it does take a little bit longer just because they're older phone but eventually uh, they will finish and as you can see it comes to the hello screen similarly a different slightly different menu not as animated black and white but as you can see here we all have deleted again on the older phone as well so that's how you do a deletion or deleting everything off your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.